Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need an expression to represent uh, the number 306 and 9 tenths in expanded notation. All right, so let's use this graph draw feature. Expand it out a little bit and increase our transparency. So that's going to help us here. Let's use draw. So 306.9, 306 and 9 tenths. All right, so let's take a look at what our place value looks like. I'm just going to draw it right here. Let me see, I've got a decimal. All right, so my place value, right, is going to be starting at the decimal, moving to the left. These are the ones that we've known uh, for several years now. Ones, tens, hundreds. Now we really start focusing a lot in fourth grade on these decimals. So moving to the right, are the tenths, and if we had one more to the right of that, it would be hundredths, right? So if we wanted to put the value in decimals or in digits, right, we would write 100, that's 10, that's 1, and here's my 1 tenth, 0 0.1. So let's take all of that knowledge Let's see what we have here. 306 and 9 tenths. All right, so how do we build an expanded notation? Well, you always start with your largest uh, place value. So in this case, it's 3 in the 100 spot. But you notice I already wrote 100 underneath there. So you multiply the value that's there, 3, by its actual place value. So 3 times 100. And then you add it. Now if I were doing expanded form, I would go like this. 3 in the 100 spot is worth 300. Expanded notation is 3 times 100. So I'll do both. So I'll put notation up here. And I'll put expanded form right here. And they're both expanded. All right, so we've got a zero in the tens. We don't do anything with the zero. You actually skip it. You don't put zero times 10. You don't put a plus zero. That's kind of weird. Now we're going to put a six times its place value, one. Even though six times one is six, you have to expand it out. If we're doing expanded form, it would be 300 times six. Now here's where we get a little bit tricky. We've got the a decimal here. And so look, what is the value that's in that spot? What digit is there? It's a 9. And then what is the value of the actual spot itself? 0 0.1. 1 tenth. You could do it like that. Sometimes you can actually, I saw a decimal, so I did it like that. You can actually do it like this as well. You could do it with a uh, decimal, or you could do it with a fraction. Other one works. And then you would do 0 0.9, or you just do 9 tenths. Now, this is the correct way right here. So let's see which one matches this. So 300 plus 6 plus 9, that's if we wanted to expand it form. We're really just looking at this expanded notation right here. And we're looking at that bottom one. But look at this A, 3 times 10. No, the 3 is not in the 10 spot. The 3 is in... 100 spot. 3 times 100, check. 6 times 1, check. Oh, look at this. 9 times 100th. It's 9 times 1 10th. That one's wrong. 3 times 100, check. 6 times 10. No, the 6 is in the 1 spot. Let's hope it's D. 3 times 100, yes. 6 times 1, yes. 9 times 1 10th, yes. My answer is D.